if only the new Google phone had Google Alien Translate. This movie could have been over in like 10 minutes. Arrival. Arrival is the story of an expert in linguistics who is recruited by the military to translate an alien communication when Earth is visited by other beings. Our expert in linguistics, played by Amy Adams, is paired up with theoretical physicist, played by our good old friend Jeremy Renner, to go decipher the reason why the sentient beings came down in this mysterious pod to Earth. The first thing I thought when I saw the those two heading off to the pod in the helicopter together was, where the F was Nick Cage, and who the hell's idea was it to send the lamest Avenger to go save the Earth? Come on, Hawkeye's already proved that he can't stop an alien invasion by himself. So anyway, our amazing language professor and our discount Avenger are headed to the military base where this is all taking place, and they are met by a stereotypical general, played by Forrest Whitaker, and a stereotypical agent, played by Michael Stolbarg. And after a short briefing and a medical checkup, our two ordinary heroes are headed right into a lift to be put into the pod. Uh, for their first contact. What happens next? Well, I implore you to go see this film to find out, um, because this one is definitely worth the ticket price. I do want to keep this one spoiler free, only for the fact that if I did go into the spoilers, this movie, this video would be like six hours long, and we could just get into so much about just the ending of this movie. Um, it was it was such a twist ending that not a lot of people saw coming. But here are a few things that I can talk about without spoiling the movie that I really enjoyed about this movie and hopefully it'll get you to go see it. Uh, this movie is like a 2016 version of Contact um, with Jodie Foster that was made about 20 years ago. Uh, meaning that compared to some of the crazy sci-fi films out there, this film is like ult the ultra-realistic version of like what would happen and what you would expect to see from an alien encounter if it would happen tomorrow. From the different ways that different governments react in here, um, down to the little details of like Amy Adams leaving her job afterwards, after the news is broken, and fighter jets whipping past her um, as, sh as she's headed home from, from work. Uh, it just, all of it gives you the realistic sense, and it really puts you into that world saying like, wow, I can imagine myself being here and this is actually happening and this is what would happen if if something crazy like this did happen next week or tomorrow. But I also like especially liked that they did drop like little details in there that, that really made it realistic throughout the movie. Like halfway through the movie, um, the a, a picture of what the alien looks like uh, is leaked online and, and it gets to the press and, and they're shown there. And that's just such a realistic thing that we would definitely know what happened, but it's just looked over in a lot of these special encounter type of movies. And, and I feel like little, little details throughout the movie just really made it sink in that this, this could happen. I also like that this isn't one of those, you only see them alien for the last like 10 seconds of the movie kind of thing. And it's a cliffhanger and just goes to dark. This is not that kind of movie. Uh, Amy Adams and her team get up and close, get up close and personal with the, the alien, like almost right away. Um, like 10 minutes into the film and from there it takes a really different tone from a lot of those encounter movies um i won't go into what the tone is like because i i want you to go see it for yourself but it's just such a refreshing thing not to feel like it's just the same drone on type of alien encounter movie i also really love this cast um obviously amy adams and jeremy renner are a great cast no matter what movie you put them in um, but, you know, also having, like, the stereotypical roles filled, um, you know, because you do have to have those kind of roles in, in a movie like this, um, filled by, like, Forrest Whitaker and Michael Stahlberg, um, two great actors, and some of the other supporting cast was really good, too. Um, having those people in there in those in those stereotypical roles, even though it's a smaller role for them and they're, they're way too good of an actor for this, um, it, it really helps move the, the story forward because when, you know, the government has to come in and, and be, you know, create conflict or move the story forward, it, it can quickly become really cheesy and having those great actors in there really prevents that because they can portray it in a way where you believe that this is actually going on and this is the situation. Ultimately, Arrival is a damn good time at the movie theater. Um, even if you're not into sci-fi, I, I went with a group of friends that, 
Uh, half of them were into sci-fi, half of them typically aren't. And uh, everybody walked out just like mind blown. They were having so much fun. We were discussing it and talking about it. And this is one of those movies that you can walk out and talk about for an hour in the streets afterwards. Um, <clears throat> and definitely one you can go sit through again, which I'm excited to go do because there's so much you could have missed the first time around. So it's going to be really exciting to go back and kind of be like, Oh, that's that was, okay. So, you know, maybe I'll be able to get some of my ticket stubs counterparts to get to the theater soon and uh, who knows, maybe we'll be able to uh, sit down and have a spoiler-heavy discussion about this and uh, get it up on the channel. But until then, guys, go see this movie. Arrival is so worth the ticket price, so much fun. Um, if you want to just get your mind blown and have a great time at the box office this weekend, Arrival is for you. Until then, we'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>